What's going on there guys? Good afternoon. It's the Earth Master here on this uh, beautiful Wednesday, August 24th, 2022 date. It is about 1.42 p.m. California time and the uh, latest quake shows a 1.1 earthquake out here uh, in Southern California. The latest quake on the Earthquake 3D globe. Uh, let's go ahead and check out the latest activity across the board here on the flat scale model. Uh, showing a little bit of activity again around the Fiji Islands area and the Vanuatu region. We did see an earthquake here within the last hour here south of the Philippines, a 4.9, right? Uh, looks like about 44 kilometers deep into this area of the Philippine Trench, just south of here it looks like. Uh, somewhat deep, not super deep earthquake, but uh, definitely getting a little bit of movement down there. Notice the lack of activity up here around the northwestern portion, pretty quiet around the, Phil the uh, Pacific Plate. Java Trench region, of course we had that six pointer kick up a day ago. Uh, looks like we got uh, at least one aftershock and again that one was from last night, 4.7. Haven't really seen any further activity in this region uh, for now. Uh, up here in the India area, we've got a 4.1 kicking off here. Just Around the Himalaya Mountains, quite the plate boundary up here. A lot of dynamics and a lot of uh, pressure building up here throughout throughout time. Over here in the, let's see what we got here. Turkey area, it looks like just offshore. A 4.5 coming in overnight into this area. Atlantic Ocean, pretty clear for now. South America, we got one earthquake here into the Peru Chile Trench. 107 kilometers deep for a 5.4. This one kicking off earlier this morning in the Chile area. And up north around Puerto Rico, the Caribbean plate looks about the same as we did yesterday. We really haven't seen any further large scale activity here uh, up around the Puerto Rico Trench. Most of it has been some microquakes uh, in, an, in and around the area. The Middle America Trench here got a 4.4 and a 4.8. This activity uh, generally older movement from this morning and uh, late last night time frame. Uh, West Coast activity. What do we got? Uh, one earthquake out here in Nevada, 3.1 near, uh, what is that, Valmy? It looks like Valmy or Valmy, Nevada, 8.1 kilometers for a uh, 3.1 magnitude earthquake. Not too, uh, not too often do we get earthquake activity up here, but again, Nevada's riddled with quite a few uh, fault systems out there. And uh, sometimes it does build up. Looks like a couple unnamed faults in that area of the 3.1. Uh, Pacific Northwest, a little activity outside of the Mount Rainier and the uh, Mount St. Helens area. A couple small microquakes kicking up there. Looking at the 2.5 map and above across the west coast only shows that 3.1 up on the board and that is in Nevada. So the majority, uh, the rest of the activity I should say, all microquakes below that uh, 2.5 threshold. Uh, 2.1 here. This one kicking off this morning, uh, 29 kilometers deep. We're starting to see a little bit of buildup and stress here from all the tremor activity we've been looking at in Northern California and Southern Oregon over the past week or so. Uh, so watch that area for possibly some further movement. I uh, had some activity uh, in the Mount Shasta area. That was yesterday. And a couple other earthquakes down here around Bernie. And uh, looks like, uh, what do we got down here? Let's see what this one is, 2.0. Looks like there's some type of volcanic uh, feature out here, Thousand Lakes Valley. Definitely seen a, a cone-shaped signature here. Um, so yeah, a little bit of earthquake activity out there today, it looks like. Um, the rest of California, though, look at that. Things are, man, very quiet. Look at the eastern Sierra Nevada, not a whole lot going on. Southern California, even. Uh, just a couple spotty earthquakes throughout the area today. No major swarms to report and just very minimal movement at best across the west coast. Yellowstone National Park, this activity from yesterday. Um, we'll check out the Yellowstone thumbnails real quick and see if we got any uh, continuance of the swarming that we've seen yesterday. We had a little bit of activity kicking up there. You can see that from last night and overnight time frame. And even this morning, it looks like we may have had a, uh, kind of looks like it's up there in the two-pointer range. Uh, for this graph, it looks like that kicked up here a couple hours ago. Uh, so since then, and prior to that, there's definitely been some ongoing activity there at Yellowstone. Uh, although it looks generally lighter than what we've seen yesterday. And for the most part, these guys only showing, eh, it looks like a 1.1 at 
that's way outside of the Yellowstone area, so they're not even really covering the um, uh, the activity that's taking place there on the map, at least the stuff today. So uh, let's see what else we got here. Oklahoma, Texas, a little spotty activity out there as well. One earthquake. Looks like out around the Nixon area. 2.1 near Smiley, Texas. See, a lot of times we get earthquakes out there. It's just weird. Let's see what we got for the last 30 days of uh, movement. Can't really say it's weird because uh, I already know what's out here. And uh, let's go ahead and check and see on the satellite view. It is within a major, major area for um, pumping operations. All these little squares out there indicative of, uh, well, oil oil pumping operations uh, injection wells you got all these little ponds uh, some of them have ponds some don't uh, but a lot of times uh, the uh, wastewater gets uh, well it gets uh, injected down into the surface not going to go through the whole process here but notice these quakes are uh, definitely within hundreds and hundreds of the oil pumping operations out there all right let's see what else we got go back to the uh, one day category here not a whole lot going on across the eastern portion of the country. And um, let's see what we got for Alaska. Alaska, about the same here, folks. Not a whole lot going on. The uh, 2.5 map and above, a little bit more active than California. Um, looks like we did have a four-pointer kickoff inland earlier this morning up past the Alaska range um, on a couple of these other fault systems up here. Again, Alaska is covered with faults all over the place. So a little bit of seismic pressure increase notable notable uh, in this area as far as 2.5 and above goes. Uh, a lot of activity right now through the Cook Inlet. So, uh, But the Aleutian Trench, that looks pretty quiet. Uh, not a whole lot going on. Just a little bit of inland pressure movement and migration uh, well north of Anchorage and north of the Alaska Range. The Big Island of Hawaii activity confined right now to the Pahala area. Yesterday we did have a 3.0 outside of the uh, Mauna Kea area, but we haven't seen any further activity ramping up in that region overnight. All right, what else we got? Um, doo -doo -doo -doo, Corona Hole activity. That's, a, uh, that's another one we're watching, right? Uh, Corona Hole and a, a sunspot inside of it. Look at that. Beautiful little feature there. Of course, you guys can't... Uh, that's kind of odd that it didn't... Uh, let me see if I can get that baby to pop up in a different tab, maybe. There we go. It opened up in a whole new window. For some reason, The uh, my uh, computer didn't capture it here. But this area down here, got a nice little coronal hole. This was updated. Looks like um, within the... Well, it's really recent, within the last half hour or so. Uh, I know the SolarHam website sometimes shows images from uh, like a day old. So I don't know. They only they must just update it uh, every 24 hours. So if you want to look at the latest info on the sun, the SDO, and where they get their images from, this is the place. The place. Um, and I will leave the, the uh, link here so you guys can check it out. And uh, it's a pretty cool little feature down here, the Chrono Hole. we got some sun, uh, sunspot activity within that. And uh, it's definitely growing, this sunspot is. There's a couple different sunspots that are in uh, development f um, status right now. We got uh, well, 3085, a pretty big one. 3086 is the one we're kind of watching. And uh, we got 3087 as well popping up there on the, on the charts. And there's, uh, like I said, there's a couple of them that are definitely growing so to speak um, I'm gonna watch this three-day geomagnetic forecast here in the coming days see if this changes right now it's green across the board with no threat for uh, any type of um, auroras or uh, solar weather activity so um, and that's also all dependent we do have 18 here kind of facing the earth side and then we're gonna be watching 17 here again we've got a Look at this latest activity. 18 kind of looks like it's just disappeared on the latest imagery there compared to, I mean, I guess you can kind of see it here, but uh, not as prominent as this bad boy down here. So this could play 
an effect on our space weather uh, in the coming days and over the week. So we'll see how this uh, see how this develops. Sunspot activity, um, well, at least a flare threat, 60% chance of, of a C flare, M flare at 15, and X flare around uh, 5%. Let's see what else we got here, guys. Yeah, this it's really cool to look at all these uh, all these images and whatnot of the sun. Again, the SDO is the place to check out the most recent images there. This one here doesn't look like it's super complex in the fields. If anything, this guy down here is definitely getting its uh, mix in as well as this one. Notice, notice the. Uh, notice the difference here so it shows updated august 24th but the imagery itself here is uh definitely much much older let me kick this off here real quick notice how fast that has grown down here kind of towards the southwestern limb you got 3086 here but we're talking about this one that's rapidly developed uh and that is uh Which number is that? It's not 3084, is it? Good possibility. Yeah, 3084 is way over there. That'd be this one. So, not for sure which sunspot that is, but, um, and it's not numbered up here. Either way, it's this area growing pretty drastically over over the course of a, of a day. So, it shows you kind of how quick these things can develop and rapidly intensify. So, we'll definitely keep an eye on a couple of these that are, uh, now facing earth or will be turning into earth here pretty darn soon all right let's see what else we got guys um the fire situation out here in california i don't think we've had any more major fires kicking up here um still kind of i guess they're still kind of working on the six rivers complex lightning complex fires outside of the willow creek area couple other vegetation fires it looks like outside of the Redding area um, but far as any major forest fires here in Northern California we aside from this one over here most of these are contained and and uh, very close to being put out 99% containment as of yesterday on the McKinney fire which is good news but burned 60,000 acres and uh, quite a few of uh, quite a few structures and houses out there got burned unfortunately not good all right, guys. Uh, another busy day for me. Got uh, quite a few lectures and whatnot. I got to take care of and uh, study. So definitely going to be uh, pretty busy. But of course, as always, I will be here right, uh, right in the computer room, uh, doing some schoolwork and stuff like that. So if anything does pop off, I will definitely be uh, doing an update live. And of course, our nightly updates tonight. So schoolwork and all that stuff does not interfere with anything on the channel whatsoever. Notice the fours off the coast of Chile. Notice that? Quite a few fours out there around the, uh, the Pacific. Let me look here real quick. Kind of want to see where this is at. Bring this back up for a second here. It's north of the Chile Rise, out there, kind of just uh, southeast central Pacific Ocean. Literally right out in the, um, the uh, Nazca Plate, away from the plate boundary here. So I don't really see too much earthquake activity out there, at least I don't think. Let me look here and see what we got real quick interactive map yeah look at that right where this is at doesn't show a whole lot of activity well then again it's not even really shown anything here on the map not for sure what's going on with U usgs but all right folks uh won't spend too much time on it got a busy busy day we'll catch you guys a little bit later on tonight with the update, unless something major happens or we get some type of major solar flare, of course, then that's when we'll do a uh, update here on the channel. Take care, guys.
Catch you a little bit later on. Peace.